So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly improve the quality of the responses that you're getting from Llama 3 when you're running it locally with Crew AI. This is gonna be a short video where I'm just gonna show you how you can implement this solution. And then I'll be making another video where I go a little bit more in depth in the code. But if you wanna start off with this template code, I'll be providing that. The link is gonna be in the description if you wanna download it and play with it and then you know, apply it to your own code later on. But the main things you're gonna to have to add are gonna be just a few lines of code. It's gonna be this import from Langchain Community. This is what's gonna allow compatibility with a local Llama version that you installed on your laptop with Olama. And then of course, we're gonna create our variable for our Llama 3 reference. And the last part and the most important part is gonna be these three lines right here for your system template, your prompt template, and your response template. Now I know this looks like gibberish right now, but the reason why you need this, especially for Llama 3, is because this was the prompt template that was used to train this model. And that's just saying that this was the format that was used in order to train the Llama 3 model in the conversation format. So all these labels that you see right here in this template is pretty much how the Llama model knows to understand the way that it's gonna receive prompts and return responses. So I did a few tests where I ran my Career AI project with Llama 3 locally without that system prompt template with Llama 3 locally after adding the system prompt template and with Llama 3 using the Grok API key. And with the first set of tests that I ran it without using this template right here, usually the response, if I ended up getting a response at all, it didn't really make sense. And there was times where it just seemed like it stopped running. Once I added the system prompt template, I did see that I was getting responses very well formatted the way that it was intended to be formatted by the last agent. And I would even say pre-comparable to using the Grok API key and Llama 3 on there as well. Keep in mind that I don't have a very beefy laptop. I have a MacBook Air. So the tests that I ran with old Llama locally, they did take a while. I definitely saw a lot of improvement once this was added to the code. Again, the code is going to be in the description. And if you need a little bit of help installing this, I will be posting a more in-depth guide later on. And if you need help with your career AI projects, whether it's for a personal project or for your business, I'm also going to leave a link in the description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me for free. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.